I think in 2045, we're going to find that we have a very different relationship with the machines around us. And that includes the platforms that we use. And that's cars, ships, planes, even spacecraft. So today, we see just at the cusp of the ability to communicate with machines. Right now, we do it with keyboards, and there's some limited capability to actually talk to a computer, but it's basically looking for voice recognition to match and search things. And the investments that we are making here in, at DARPA now are human-machine interfaces that are much more natural and allow us to work as partners with machines and have them understand our intent for much more complex tasks. Things like uh, the ability to control more than one aircraft at once, the ability to uh, have a ship automatically recognize other craft on the surface of the ocean and use some very sophisticated logic to avoid those craft following the rules of the high seas for collision avoidance. And I think that we will begin to see a time when we're able to simply just talk uh, or even press a button and have uh, the context come into place. So for example, right now to prepare for landing in an aircraft, there's multiple steps that have to be taken to prepare yourself from navigation and uh, get out of the cruise mode and begin to set up the throttles and the navigation, put the gear down, and all of these steps have to happen in the right sequence. Wouldn't it be much better if you could just say, just like the, the airline captain says to the flight attendant, prepare for landing, and they know exactly what to do and do a complex series of things. Our world will be full of those kinds of examples where we can communicate directly our intent and have very complex outcomes uh, by working together. The role of the government in this type of innovation is extremely important because obviously there has to be a, a safe framework to allow us to do that. So first of all, the technology investments off, often pay off after a long period of time, and so companies aren't going to make those kinds of investments. The government has to invest. We also have to create an environment that's regulatory and policy that will allow those technologies to integrate safely into what we're doing and uh, be friendly to businesses and uh, new ideas to take root and uh, also strengthen our economy and our leadership in the world.